guys, welcome to today's video. So I am going to be talking about the inky list today. A lot of you wanted to see more inky list videos and I've had a lot of you ask if I can share my top favorites from the inky list. So that is what today's video is going to be all about. Please keep in mind that I haven't tried everything from the inky list yet. So the products that I haven't tried, I am sure that those are wonderful products as well. But from the products that I have tried, I cannot recommend these products enough. So let's get right into it, but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. All right, so let's talk inky list. Now this is another brand that I really love. I've been using the inky list for a fairly long time, but I have been using the ordinary a lot longer. Now when it comes to the inky list they have a lot of different types of products that you really don't see anywhere else and some of their ingredients are very unique as well which is another reason why I love this brand so much and that's going to bring me to the first product now this is the fulvic acid brightening cleanser I have talked about this before but this contains Nordic peat which is high in fulvic acid and this is going to be an ingredient to help gently exfoliate the skin now I can I cannot recall ever using a product with Nordic peat. I honestly cannot recall. If you ever used a product, please let me know what product and brand that is because I really can't think of any brand or product that also has Nordic peat. And that's what I'm talking about. The Inculus is very different and I like the ingredients that they choose. Now this is very gentle. This would be great for sensitive skin as well. This is great for all skin types. Of course, if you have very sensitive skin, you may want to use it once a day. But this is safe enough to use twice a day and I like using this in my morning skincare routine because it really gives me that instant brightness to my skin and this also contains kakadu plum extract which is high in vitamin C so it's going to give you that radiance to your skin as well and since I like using vitamin C in my morning skincare routine along with all of my other antioxidants this cleanser is a great pairing with all of those products so this is amazing you guys if you haven't tried this I really do recommend it this also has licorice root extract which is going to help with an uneven skin tone this is a gel texture but once you add water to it it does emulsify into a milky texture afterwards and it's just lovely I love it the next product is the oat cleansing balm and I am a big fan of this as well and I'm gonna be honest with you when I first tried this I did not like it I didn't like how it left a film on my skin it was very thick and I did mention that before several several months ago but I have learned to really love this and I like using this in my evening routine. I like to use this to remove my makeup. If I'm experiencing dryness and irritation, I like using this cleanser in particular because this contains oatmeal. So it's very calming and it's very soothing on the skin. Now, when I'm experiencing a lot of irritation, let's say from tretinoin or some other skincare product, I like to use this as a leave-on mask. So I will apply this all over my face, a thick layer onto damp skin and I will leave it on for 10 minutes, a half an hour, maybe an hour and then I rinse it off and then follow up with moisturizers and hydrating serums and this works beautiful as a mask. So keep that in mind. If you don't like this necessarily as a cleanser, use it as a mask because I'm telling you right now, the oatmeal really does calm the skin. So if you have any irritation from blemishes or like I said with skincare products, this is going to be fabulous. The next product is the succinic acid treatment. This is great for all skin types, but if you are blemish prone, you have blackheads and enlarged pores, then you may really love this. Now this contains 1% salicylic acid, so this is going to help exfoliate. It's going to unclog your pores. It's going to diminish your blemishes, prevent future acne as well. And this is also going to help reduce pore size. It has hyaluronic acid in it as well and the 2% succinic acid. Now this ingredient is going to help reduce the appearance of imperfections and if you're oily, this is going to help remove the oil. It's going to absorb the excess oil. So this might be something that you may want to use in your morning skincare routine 
routine, but I personally like using this at night and I like to spot treat with this in specific areas that I need it, but you can use this up to three times a day. So this is great to use every single day if you need to. And I do like to spot treat with this because I don't need to apply this all over my face, but the areas that I do like to apply this is my chin, my cheeks here, sometimes in between my eyes. I will break out in between my eyes once in a while and sometimes even going down my neck because I do get hormonal breakouts. So I do find that I like to use this when I have acne that is forming. It's starting to get sore. I can see it starting. That's when I start using the succinic acid and this is absolutely amazing. The next product is the hyaluronic acid which you all know I'm a big fan of. I love hyaluronic acids in general but the one from the Inculus is quite lovely. Very similar to the one from The Ordinary, but for some reason I do like this one better. I find this one to be a little bit more moisturizing on the skin and it works very nice with all of my skincare products. So I don't experience pilling with this actually. Sometimes I do experience pilling with The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid or even ones from other brands and sometimes that can happen with hyaluronic acid in general, but the one from The Inculus, I don't experience that, which is lovely. So I do like this a lot. The next product is the polyglutamic acid which is personally my favorite product from the Inculist. This is very similar to hyaluronic acid but this holds on to four times the moisture than hyaluronic acid. So this is going to be very plumping, very moisturizing on the skin and the way to use this is that you want to apply this as your last serum in your skincare routine but before applying your moisturizer and your sunscreen. So this is going to lock in that moisture from your previous serums and it's going to prep your skin for your moisturizer and then of course sunscreen and makeup. And this works wonderful. It really gives your skin that beautiful glow and moisture and it really does give you that plump look to your skin as well. So you can use this every day, twice a day, but I personally like using this in my morning routine. And there's another way that you can use this as well. You can apply a couple of pumps of this into your foundation and then apply it to your skin and this will give you that dewy, glowy look. And it's also going to add more moisture as well. So if you have dry skin or you're using a foundation that is more matte, then applying a couple of pumps of this into that foundation will help to give you more of that skin-like look. So if you're not into matte looking skin, then just apply a couple of pumps of this and it works amazing. I also really love the retinol eye cream. This formulation is beautiful. It's not sticky, it's not heavy, it does have a fluffy texture to it. The only downfall is is that I wish it was more moisturizing. You know, if you're using a product that contains a retinol, whether it's a strong retinol or not, it's still lovely to have ingredients to really keep that skin around the eyes super plump and moisturized. And I find that this formulation could have been a little bit more moisturizing, but at the end of the day, it's still lovely because not everybody likes that thick eye cream. Not everybody wants that greasy look around the eyes. And I'm somebody that does like that, but this is great because if you want to apply a separate eye cream on top to add more hydration, you can do that. Or of course, you can just use your face moisturizer and bring it on top of this if you need that extra hydration. Now, for the winter months, I will have to do that. I will have to apply a separate cream on top of this because I know that this won't be moisturizing enough for the winter, but this will be perfect on its own come spring and summer. It really will. And if you're somebody that has oily lids or oily under eyes, then this is going to be amazing because it's very thin and lightweight and it's not heavy at all. So you can, of course, use this every day, twice a day. If you decide to use this in your morning routine, make sure that you apply a sunscreen on top I personally like using this only in my evening routine and I did share this in my top five eye cream video. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I share a lot of different types of eye creams that is perfect for dry skin, for anti-aging of course, for dark circles and recently I uploaded my top five eye serums as well. So go and check those out if you're in the market for some new eye care products but this is a lovely option and of course it's really affordable. I love the niacinamide serum 
Serum. This is one of the best products I have ever used and I love niacinamide. And sometimes it can be very challenging finding a niacinamide product that works with your skincare products because I'm sure if you have ever used niacinamide, you have probably experienced pilling at some point. And sometimes we don't know why this happens. Obviously, the niacinamide is reacting to an ingredient that is in one of our other skincare products, our sunscreen, or even our makeup. And it can be very difficult finding a product that works or that works with your skin because there are so many different concentrations and percentages of niacinamide out there. And sometimes people will find that a 10% can be too strong but this one is gentle it's moisturizing and it doesn't cause pilling which is amazing and the other nice cinema product that I use that also does not cause pilling is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops, the Niacinamide Serum. That is fabulous, but of course this is more affordable and I do find that this is more moisturizing than the ordinary niacinamide. And I personally don't really gravitate towards that one anymore because this one has outperformed it. And again, because it doesn't cause pilling. I also love the Peptide Moisturizer. This is perfect for fine lines and wrinkles and of course for prevention. I love peptides, I also love peptide serums, but sometimes I don't always want to use a peptide serum. So at least I can resort to a cream that contains it as well. And if you want to use your peptide serums with the peptide moisturizer, that is okay as well. There's nothing wrong with that. The more the merrier in my opinion. Now this formulation is lightweight, but it is very moisturizing. It also contains shea butter, so it's perfect for all skin types. It's going to be great for the winter months, but also great for all year round. And I really do like the packaging. It reminds me of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, where you push down on the button to dispense the product. And this absorbs into your skin so quickly. And you can use this in your morning and in your evening routine, but I personally like using this in my evening routine. And the last product is the 15% Vitamin C and EGF. EGF stands for Epidermal Growth Factor, and this ingredient helps to stimulate new cells for rejuvenation. This is also a vitamin C derivative, so it's going to have a longer shelf life compared to l acid, and this is going to be more gentle as well. If you've been with me for a while, you know that my choice of vitamin C is l acid, but sometimes I do like using derivatives. It's a nice change once in a while. The texture in the formulation is beautiful. It's moisturizing. It's also so lightweight enough where it doesn't pill with any skincare product and it works well with all of the other antioxidants that I like to use in my morning skincare routine. So if you're in the market for a new vitamin C, specifically from the Inky List, I would say pick this one up. It really is a lovely one and I do like to keep this in my fridge as well. I keep all of my vitamin C's in the fridge. Even though this is a derivative, I still keep it in the fridge. And I also like applying my vitamin C's to my face when it's cool. It's more refreshing and I love the feeling of that as well. So that's a personal preference, of course. That's what I do. You don't need to do that, but it really is a lovely vitamin C. So those are my top favorite products from the Inky List. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And hopefully I was able to introduce you to some new products today. I will link everything that I shared in this video below for you in my description box. And I would love to hear your feedback. Have you used any of these before? Are any of these your holy grails? Let's get a conversation going in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. Take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.